Hello, my name is David Webb, and this is a video for DweeboVision. I am a Scrabble Grandmaster, and in this video I am going to play Scrabble while providing in-game commentary on my moves. Hopefully this will help to improve your game, and be fun to watch. The game has just started, so let's join the action. My opponent's gone first. I do not think I have a bingo rack, but it should be fairly easy to resolve. I don't have a seven letter bingo, so I need to consider the floaters in churl. Nothing with the C or the H or the I or the R or the L. Okay, I can't see a bingo with this rack. Now I'm looking to see what I can score with my big tiles. I'm wondering about Hawky, down from the H of Churl. My worry about this is that it may be a phony. So this is something better that I'm sure of. I wouldn't want to be facing this rack again. 36 points is a good score. Now I could put my W in front of the H. So, is a, I just do not feel confident about Hawkey. But where else can I play? Looking at the triple letter squares in column six. Okay, I can't see anything better than Hawkey. I think this is good. And if it stays on, I have an awkward rack. Only one vowel and no high scoring tiles and a duplicate N. I'm really looking for vowels on the board to help resolve it. But it's not essential. I do have the word lang. Or rang. I should certainly sort the rack out. So I should be able to play something. There's the eye of churl as well. I could play down in column six. Algin, I think, is good. That would leave NRS. My priority is to play off one of the N's and a G. And I think I'd like to split up the L and N combination. Oh dear. Okay. Right. I'm now 87 points behind. But I do have... some premium squares to consider. I'm looking in row J. If I could place my W underneath the A and the Y underneath the N, that would be pretty good. Wanley doesn't quite fit. Now, the other spot to consider is row H above oration. I can place my K at H12. But what else do I have? So, is Kayan good? This would be such a dreadful start if it's not. Not sure about that. Don't think it is. I think it's C-Y-A-N. K N A W is not good. Okay. Now the another possibility is column eleven through the T of oration to see if I have a double double. Don't think I do.
Gosh, this is actually quite a, a tricky rat. Well, this has merit away. It's not great. Scores 43 points, and all these words are definitely good. And I'm probably a little fortunate. That looks um, quite a nice rack. So this looks close to a bingo. Do I have one? I do have a floating A in oration and the I and C and H of churl, so a number of floaters to consider. Okay, the A goes. All those words are good. 57 points, so a great start for my opponent. Can't see anything through the H, but the C goes well with the K. So pen locks is not good, it's pen stock that are, that is similar. Do I have anything through the I? I have the like suffix. Nope, can't see anything. So I think that's the end of, oh, well, plonkers is good. But that doesn't quite work through the R of Churl because uh, Oration doesn't take an S in front. Now, I'm looking in column 15 in case I've got a bingo ending LY. Can't see one. Now, I'm looking to get rid of my K or my P or both of them and score well. So I'm looking at the, well, well now, what about playing plink through the eye of churl, placing the P and the K on the premium squares? The rack leave of EOS, nice tiles, slightly vowel heavy. So a play of Knop would be a lot better. And I could play just, well, I was thinking playing cop in row J, but that keeps the L and the N. So this is what I'm thinking of. Plink, it takes a U in front to make uh, up link. Now, this rack leaf goes well with the floating C and P. So I think I'll play it. And this isn't great. Too many vowels, the U, the Y. So I don't think I have a bingo, although I will give consideration to the P and the C. I do have the O-U-S suffix. Okay, can't see anything. Another, another 28 points for my opponent, who's steaming ahead. 100 point lead. Now, Plink, I think, takes a U after it. I'm not sure I can use that. I do have the U for going in front of Plink. So a play of U-E somewhere would work. But I would like to score well. So U-E above Plink doesn't do it. 18 points. I could play Jokey in row J. 25 points. A better score. Now how bad is this rack leave? Well, not too bad. The N goes well with the U, and the U goes in front of Plink. So this has some merit. Okay, this is now looking fairly bingo-y. Do I have something? Well, 
U still goes in front of Plinks, but now P is the only floater. Do I have a seven letter bingo? I'm not sure I do. So what about an eight through the P? It'll be fairly high probability, so quite annoying to miss. Well, I can't see one. I think that's all the floaters available. I don't have anything onto the Y of a way. So now, what I'd like to do is play off the A and the U and just the A and the U. And that may not be possible. And if it's not possible, what shall I do? I'm a long way behind. I don't want a blocked board. Cajun does not take an S after it. Well, Boona opens the board up a bit and the rack leave is pretty good. I have Advisor and Vardis. I'm not sure there's anywhere for either of those. Plinks only takes a U in front, and I played off my U, but I think that was still the right thing to do because it's so unbingoy. So I'm looking at the P of Plinks to see if I have an eight letter bingo. Can't see one. Now what about the A of Boona? Well, I can't see anything through that either. So have I really exhausted all of the possibilities on this board for bingos? Oh wow, Vardy's and Spun, fantastic. Is this where the, the game changes? Wow, was not expecting uh, this stroke of good fortune. Vardy's, Vardy's 93, fabulous score. Now Vardy's uh, pun rather only takes an S in front and Advisor doesn't play Eon's good but RDA isn't. So I think that's the only bingo playable. I note that both blanks are un unseen which is good. Increases the likelihood of me getting um, further bingos which I pr will probably need since I'm still 31 points behind. Now I have a balanced rack but it's a non bingo rack but I have the C and the F for score so hopefully I can get 20 or so points and leave a decent rack leave. The play of cafe would leave G-E-R, not too bad although I note that there are still two G's unseen so I would like to play off that as well. So maybe a play of fag leaving race would be better. Great. My opponent challenges and loses five points. I'm only 26 points behind now. So. Where are the opportunities with this board? Now, AH takes an I and an A after it, so I could play fag in row K, 28 points.
doesn't open the board up. But if I don't take that spot, my opponent may. Now aim takes an E after it, so is there an opportunity to play off an E as well? And f now, ah, well, face plays. I was just about to say that cafe doesn't, but face does, and GER I think is not too bad of a rack. 40 points, wow, look at that score, fantastic. Now if I if I score 40 points, I'm only 15 points behind. I may be able to catch my opponent without needing to bingo. And I have the X, which is good for score. don't have anything through the P. I'm 15 points behind. There are actually very few opportunities on the board for either of us, which is quite good because if my opponent struggles to play, they may get a very low score and then I could be level with them. Ah. Okay, obviously do not have my Scrabble head on tonight. Aim it's not taken E, I was probably confusing it with Ami, and that's quite significant. I've gone from being 15 points behind to being 90 points behind, and my opponent has been able to score well. Oh well, I need to focus on doing the best I can. Well, Feggery plays off a lot of tiles. It doesn't score very much, but it opens the board up, especially with that E. And by playing a lot of tiles, I'm increasing the chances of drawing one of the blanks. But it's only f 14 points. I think it's still the right thing to do to open the board up and I can't see another way of or I can't see a better way of opening the board up that's not good duplicate tiles long way from a bingo and I don't have anything to go on the triple letter square at f14 or no high scoring tiles to take advantage of that. Tot takes an E after it, aha takes nothing. I'm not sure if Boona takes an S after it. I'll certainly try it if I get an S. There are two S's unseen as well as two blanks. Well, I'm not sure of that S hook, so I am going to challenge. Okay, yeah, Boona did take an S. My opponent has opened up a new bingo lane in row N. I do not have the tiles to take advantage of it. I'm now 125 points behind, and there are 22 tiles in the bag. I'm thinking about playing in column 14 to really open the board up. But if I'm if I'm really opening the board up, I'd like to leave a decent uh, rack leave. Which I think the best rack leave with this rack would be to play off a G, two E's and a T. But I can't do that. So, 
Now, if I play get up here, I'm spoiling my uh, E hook, and I'm providing a very easy opportunity for my opponent to play in column 13. There's only one G left. Only one T left. So if I play veg across here, nine points. Well, I'm really struggling in this game. Rack leave is not good and I'm now short on time. Gosh, this is a really tough board. It's now an open board, but I just this is just a, a really tough rack to deal with. I'm now coming down to just four minutes on the clock. Just can't see anything good, but this rack is not bad enough to change. Well, I think I will play veg. It provides opportunities for opening the board up more next go. Now, I'm, I've obstructed the P of Plinks. My opponents provided a V, an E, and an E as hooks. They don't work for me. I've got three and a half minutes left, 16 tiles in the bag. Can't see a bingo with this rack. And I've got duplicate tiles. I'd really like to resolve the vowel consonant imbalance. I'm 130 points behind. This game is slipping away. I need to, uh, I really need two back-to-back -back bingos. How can I do that? Only nine points. That just cannot be good. Well, playing toe down here opens up a nine timer, which will enable me to win with one bingo, not two. Now I've only got two minutes left on the clock. Can't see anything through the V, can't see a seven letter bingo. Ten, ten tiles left, so I think I can only bingo once. So I think I'm now looking at loss minimization. Now this rack leave isn't bad. I suspect it makes a number of bingos. Do I have one? Onto an S I would have niceties. But I don't have a seven. And six tiles left now. Only five vowels. Do I have something through the V? No, not that I can see. So I'd like to play off the duplicates, the E and the I. And I've got just over one minute. So this isn't going great. Four 
14 points. Well, I do draw the blank. What do I have through the... Well, do I have anything as a 7 playable in row N? I'm running through the alphabet quickly. What about the V in row C? Gosh. And then there's the P in second place in row F. So we're beginning epi. Okay, I'm going to reconsider row N. Up to K, can't see anything. No, I can't, just can't see anything. Hmm. Oh well. This is a bit of a dismal, dismal show. Not sure what time I forfeit the game. But hopefully this will avoid that happening. 25 points. I can play wine in column 14 and vine in row C. Or vice. Right. Okay. Well done to my opponent. Some nice plays. And the final score, 301 to me, 453 to my opponent, a winning margin for my opponent of 152 points. Uh, let's have a look at what I missed, and I think there, well, there's going to be quite a bit. My opponent went first, and played Churl, and Hanky in... Column 5, okay, where I played Hawkey, uh, Hanky for 30 looks like it would have been best. So that was a, not a great start. All the way, H11, okay, that's pretty good. Definitely better than my play of away, although the score of 43 for away was uh, fine. Okay, no miss bingos with this rack, uh, Knosp playable K7 underneath homed I played plink for 27 okay and but I kept the S so not too bad now this wasn't a great rack and yeah jokey looks fine great I'm pleased that I didn't miss a bingo with this rack and the Playable possibilities were not that great. What did I do? Well, Boona for 14. Yeah. What was the rack? Yeah, the rack leave after Boona is fine. And I think that actually compares reasonably well with the um, alternatives. And this is where I thought my luck had changed. Vardy's the only playable bingo and a big, big score. Now, this is where I um, disgraced myself with Face and Amy and Fag or Fag for 28 or CAG for 26 would have been much better. So I had the same rack and now it became much harder to score. I, I played Fegary to open the board up so it's not directly comparable with the other moves but look at the rack leaves with the other moves. Um, not, uh, not good at all. My opponent burnt the blank, scored 43 points, so did well to um, keep the pressure on. And this rack is a, a really tough rack, it's one of the toughest types of rack to deal with. Certainly not bad enough to change 
with limited um, possibilities for scoring and look at the rack leaves all pretty poor what did I I played veg for nine well that's not very far behind um, most of the alternatives elect g5 running across the top of churl pretty good although the rack leave isn't good burns off both e's what did I do okay well I think this was an example of when I really needed a nine timer to win so I think it was justified and I played Zar here to um, for over for 31 points and I think that's best the rack leave is pretty bingo and it's only three points behind zinc but unfortunately I drew an eye did not have a bingo and there are only low scoring possibilities available So, did I miss a bingo with this rack? Ooh, okay, I did. I missed several. I missed Ice Wine, which would have been really nice, in row N, and Irenic, which is quite a high probability bingo, in the same spot, and also Evincive in row C through the V. Well, that's a tricky word with two Vs. And Epigenic through the P of Plinks. I did look at that floater, but didn't spot Epigenic. So, not a great game of Scrabble, but I think it's good to see um, bad games. Hopefully, watching from home, you spotted some of the moves that I missed, or certainly spotted the phonies, and wouldn't have played them. But you, know, you can have bad games of Scrabble, and they can happen in the middle of a good run. So if you're in a tournament or in a session, you have a bad game, you just need to get it behind you, get on to the next game. Um, there's no point in over analyzing it bad games um, do happen and if you want to look at it positively uh, you might like to think that uh, if you're playing badly you might as well play really badly because um, however badly you play in a game you're only ever going to lose that game because of that badness so roll on the next game i uh, hope you got something out of um, watching this horror fest and see you again soon my name is david webb and this has been a video for dweebovision